Hi, my yarny friends. My name is Crystal, and I'm on here to share with you lots of different stuff. <laughs> this is going to be a hodgepodge of stuff. <laughs> I took a shower. Woohoo! <laughs> It is so nice to be clean. I did try to trim my bangs a little bit, but I don't think I did it quite enough. I am notorious for chopping off my bangs way too short. My husband gets upset with me, but I think it needed a little bit more. But <laughs> So I am on here. I'll briefly go over everything. Um, I'm going to share with you a whip that I'm working on. I'm going to share with you some happy mail that I received, some cards from friends, a uh, happy mail. I got an, I believe, an Amigurami book in the mail, but I don't know what it is. I can't remember. <laughs> and I went to the Dollar Tree because we had to go into town to pick up medicine, and I was like, I want to go to the Dollar tree because I wanted to see if I could find something to put in here even though I'm not going to start it yet. I just wanted to start to get ideas and see first what the Dollar Tree had and then I had got a couple other items when we were in Spokane for a doctor's appointment. My husband met a friend and instead of me going there listening to them talk he dropped me off at Paradise Fibers. I didn't take any video there. Um, but I did buy a couple items and I wanted to share them. So that's what today is going to be all about. <laughs> so hopefully you'll join me with that. So this is just chatting with friends. I love you guys. I love to be able to be in here. I'm excited that I'm feeling a bit better. I really need to be working on comments. Um, we had a... Um, someone come in and clean her home today. So I didn't get a shower until right before we left. And when she was here, I had told her last time she was here. And it had been a long time because my husband got sick so she couldn't come. I told her I'd make her son. She's got a seven-month-old, this dog, from this book right here. And I didn't finish it. <laughs> So, I was like, you know what? You know, she'll be here three and a half hours. I'll finish it. I, I can crochet that, you know, while she's here. <laughs> Let me show you the dog I'm talking about. I was going to make this dog for her grandson. I gotta. I won't be doing those safety stuff. I'll be embroidering them. I'm like, yeah, yeah. So, I'll show you what I had done. I had this done, his head and his body and this tail. <laughs> and I had one foot done. Ta -da! And I want to know how much I got done in three and a half hours. <laughs> I finished. Oh, and I had the muzzle, the muzzle, this teeny little muzzle. That already done. I did get another, the other foot done. And I got two arms done that I actually made a little bit shorter because she has them like go down in front and they're crazy long and I don't like it. So, and I had half of this ear done. <laughs> got that. I just finished the other half of the ear. Yeah, yeah. So, um, three and a half hours, that's all I got done. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that I'm going to finish this dog in three and a half hours. Because for me to to just even sew the stuff on, it's usually about an hour and a half. And I still have, I did, did I start the, I did start the other ear. And I still have the eye patch. That's a finish that ear, the eye patch, the tail, and sew it all on. So I'm sure I'll have it done by the time she gets here next time. <laughs> but... I'm not fast. I know that people think, oh, you're so fast, but um, I'm not. I'm just in my couch bed the majority of the time, so I have a lot more time to crochet than others, but um, but I'm, I have brutal dis um, disabling fatigue that keeps me from crocheting as much. I'd just be crocheting 
every moment, <laughs> but I just can't besides the pain. So anyway, so that's almost all I worked on, except for a little bit. I did work. I finally had to put that down, and I was just doing a little bit on the baby blanket. That is almost done, but I didn't bring that in here. I just had to share with you the little bit I got done in three and a half hours. A normal person probably could have finished that, but it's okay. And I don't like to speed through stuff. I'm I'm gonna I'm slow. And I like to take my time, and um, I'm not in a race. I want to enjoy the process. I want to, you know, watch something if I want to watch something, and just just enjoy it. And so, um, and then inside of my little basket, I wish they don't have these. I really like these ones. It's from the Dollar Tree, but I can't find any more. And I only got three, and I should have. Should have grabbed more, but anywho, anywho, hopefully I don't need more than three when, if I ever get, oh, 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 so guess how many whips I have in the, in my couch bed, or I have an ottoman that I have some there, so I have it on my couch bed and on the ottoman, so I did confessions of a, a whipaholic yesterday, and yet I'm back on here, <laughs> this is, it's nighttime now, the next day. And I had 41 UFOs, or, and, um, and I mentioned I had some other whips in the front room. Guess, guess, guess how many I, I have um, currently on the hook. One of them is that Afghan that was an old, old UFO. I haven't picked that up in a bit, but it's still out there in hopes that I will pick it up. Um, I wish I knew the song, the do 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 or whatever the tune is as you are trying to calculate in your brain how many whips do I actually have out there? I have seven. I have seven. What's wrong with me? I have seven. <laughs> so I have, you, let me see if I can say them all. So I have this dog. I have that blanket. I have Gengar. I have... That rabbit, the the one that has all the multicolors, I did sew all the appendages on it, but I haven't made the ears, so it just needs the ears and the tail. My husband did make me that thing for the neck, the PVC pipe. Um, I have the frog, because I need to do the frog. Um, I have the baby blanket, because I have two blankets. And did I say this dog? Did I already say the dog? No. I have one more. Oh, oh, oh. I have that teeny little conversation heart. I didn't give my sister this because I didn't finish the even one conversation heart. So it'll be a happy Valentine's Day next year. <laughs> I hope. I hope we're in five years. I don't know. But at least got to finish the one. And um, so I have seven out to there. So that makes 49 total. <laughs> I have my little list that I need to um, write in my book that I've been wanting to share with you guys. What I use to keep track of my crochet projects and many, many other things. And hopefully everything put me behind on um, put me behind, um, going to my mom's and then, you know, flaring and then Lily and all that. So hopefully soon I will get to do that. I, I'm wanting this cleared off, but I'm in the midst of reorganizing stuff a bit. You know how I did that? I have a, um, pegboard right here that I'm redoing and I did get a video before and I'm mostly done re reorganizing it. So, what am I going to go into next? Let me go into showing you some acquisitions. What I got at Paradise Fiber. You know, at first I was like, oh, I've never seen this before. I'm going to get it. I do have a ball winder, a manual one, a nice one. The um, That's a popular one. I can't remember the name of it. But I do still handball things at times. If it's something small, you know, like, um, I would do that. If it's smaller, I will hand, 
hand wind something like maybe not I mean hand ball this so I saw this helps you make a, a yarn ball and then I think you get a center center pull from this and I was so excited and then I am so slow I am pretty sure Ella at No Catchy Name has this exact same one, and I don't remember if she liked it. <laughs> but I, I want to put this on my cart by my couch bed so that I could use it when, like, when, when I'm ready to ball this one up or something and give it a try. I think that's a neat idea to have a center pull, 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 pull. <laughs> So I got that at Paradise Vibers, and I should have videoed because um, they had so many neat little things that I had never saw before, but I didn't. And then, now I do plan on getting more of this yarn on um, Creatively Altered Her Shop, but... Um, but I was there at Paradise Fibers, and I like to support my local businesses. Even though it's a bigger one, it's still local. Um, this one, so she, so, um, darn, I can't pull up her name. Why, I can pull up her shop name, Creatively Altered. She had sent me um, a skein of this, and I made him all the way up there my pillow bear and I fell in love with the yarn and I want to get more of it and this was my favorite color and I was like Crystal you're gonna get different colors so I already have the colors I'm gonna pick out from her shop I just now have to do it April 1st because I had to buy an airline ticket and um to Georgia and it was way more than what it's ever been double it's literally double the price and so but when I saw them in person, I had to get my favorite color of this yarn. <laughs> the purples aren't showing up. It looks more ready to you, the purples, but it's so gorgeous. So this is the Unique Cotton um, DK. Did I not get DK? Yeah, it's DK. It's 100% mercerized cotton. This colorway is 1074. This is the one. It's darker. It's showing up pretty light. This is the one that I talked myself out of on her website. I took pictures. I narrowed it down to, you know, the ones that I wanted. And I always didn't go outside my box. And I still will with those. But I just loved it so much. It's gorgeous. It just sang to me. Buy me. There was this one skein of yarn that I wanted really, 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 really bad. But it was $38, maybe $28 or $38. Darn it, I have my phone with me. If I decide to edit, I will put it up right here. This yarn, this colorway. I don't know if I took a picture of the colorway. I took a video. Did I take a video of it? Darn it. If I did and I can figure out how to do a video in video, anyway, it was amazing. So I got that. One other thing I want to share with you that I got that day. Um, I don't, so when I did, when I had my the yarn fairies, someone from I think Australia sent in these cute little amigurami with these really cool eyes. I think their eyes were smaller um, and me and another friend, hopefully you're watching this. We wanted eyes like that. Um, they were wiggly eyes, but they look like true little eyeballs and I found them. Now these might be a little bit bigger, but they're still, so I don't know the, what size are they? They're 15 millimeter. So I found them. They're the, so they're wiggly eyeball eyeballs. So I do want to use these on an amigurami. I think hers were smaller, but maybe not. Maybe not. So I'm so excited. They have them at Hobby Lobby. Woohoo! They weren't on sale. They were two bucks. I don't know if they ever have those kind of things on sale. I don't know. I got other things that were on clearance, like um, I took the wrapper off, but these buttons. Oh, 
I didn't have any pink buttons. I've organized my buttons and I realized I didn't have any pink. How could I not have pink? And this was clearance, like for $2.89. So I got that and then they had some 18 inch doll, like an outfit and hats and it's all squirreled away. And anywho. So the next item I want to share with you is let's open this book real quick. Like what? Amagarami book tempted me. I do believe I found a book for like a used book for, I don't know. I'll have to look it up. I didn't want to get online, but it was like $7 with shipping or something like that. I think, I think, or it could have been $6 and a few dollars in shipping. <laughs> if, if I do edit this, I will put how much I paid for this book, but I am trying to only buy it if it's a really, really good price and this is used. So I'm trying to buy more used and, um, off of Am Amazon, <laughs> Amazon, and, um, wow. And, um, because they will honor it if something, if it's like just horrible, if they say, you know, it's in really good condition, like very good. And it's like, like poor, they will, you know, you'll get your money back. So let's see what Amigurami book I got. I really, honestly, I can't remember. How can I not remember? I bought this book. Well, why can't I remember it? Won't you laugh if it's not an Amigurami book? It may not be. Did I ever buy that sewing book? Okay, guys, I might have lied. It may not be Amigurami. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> it's not Amigurami. <laughs> oh, it's kind of. No, this is Amigurami. It's just not crocheted. I was watching Caroline for the Lover Crochet talk about sewing. It was one of her So It's Friday episodes. And in the comments, um, a lady who sews said that she highly recommended this book. And I went online and I found it used for really super good price. And I'm like, I'm buying that book. Because look at those. Someday I'm going to sew. OMG. It doesn't... It... <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I'm going to flip through to see the quality. Nothing's cut out. Nothing's missing. Like nobody cut because they have patterns in here that you... Nothing's cut out because you can Xerox copy this. Or you, I just bought tracing paper for the, for the Pokemon stuff so I can trace and cut. And... Um, Oh my gosh, you guys. Let me see if I can... Is there a picture of... Let me see. I love them. Look at him. I want to sew him. I want to sew, guys. I want to sew. Look at the koala. I want to sew. <gasps> Do you guys want to see? You all see all of them? I just showed you the koala. Um, this is a dog. Yeah, I'm going to show you all of them because when I see people get a book, I'm like, I want to know every pattern that's in there. <gasps> Look at this kitty cat! <laughs> OMG. And then you saw the doll. She's so cute. She's got a friend. It's a boy and a girl. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love how they sewed around on their hair. <laughs> Gonk or Gronk? What is he? Gronk the monster? Oh my gosh, those legs. That's going to be hard to turn inside out. Wowzers. Oh, the monkey. Oh my gosh, I want the monkey. I want the monkey. Oh, the tiger. I think so far, if I only could make one ever, it might be the monkey. 
Let me see. Why am I turned that way? Oh, look at this hippo. Oh my gosh. I love that hippo. She used some such fun fabric. I love fabric. I love that. <gasps> look at this dragon. I wonder if I could do this. <laughs> Is one thing following a tutorial, and it's another thing. Look at this. I'm going to trace them with my tracing paper. They're so fun. And then that's it. That's it. That's just t and the rest is the patterns and tricks and tools. Worth every penny. Oh, my gosh. I love it. I love it. Okay, okay, okay. So, it's amigurumi, but not crocheted. I've got to share with you this yarn I bought. I was so excited to sh share this find with you. It's going to be a separate video. I found some yarn for a crazy good price on Amazon, and now it's all gone. It's like, I, I just got it in maybe two weeks ago. And um, I was like going to get ready to do a vlog and I looked up the link and and I looked it up once and the price went up. So first it was $11.99 for eight skeins of yarn with free shipping. What? I'll figure out the math and put it right here because now I'm going to have to edit. Then it went up to $15. I was so bummed. I was so bummed. But I'm like, okay, just $3. No big deal. And then I was getting ready to do the vlog. Looked it up again. And they were all out. They only had five colors. They had white, black, red, cream, and light blue. And I was so excited to to share this find with you, but it is gone. There is no more. So it came, I got two colors. I didn't get them all because I was, you know, all the colors. And I only got one package each, but because I wanted to see, well, what kind of yarn is it? And because it kind of looked like a roving yarn, and it is, and I'm not a big fan of roving yarns. Um, I did crochet a little patch of it. And it came in a large flat rate box, which they are not cheap. So these, okay, this is the yarn. It came in a flat rate box. It came in like two, three days. They're in this bag. They're individually wrapped. I'm not going to show you the white because it's just the same but white. They're individually wrapped. It is called Shason. Shason. It is um, 100 grams, 270 yards, a four weight, machine wash, cold, gentle cycle, tumble dry low, 100% acrylic, and no dye lot. It is um, a roving. It's a roving yarn. It does, if you don't like the fuzz, it, um, what's this called, guys? If you don't like that, which I don't, <laughs> um, I, you know, but for amigurami or something, I have an idea. So, if you, you love roving, if you don't mind this, it is not the same as Red Heart, their roving one. That one's more shiny, a little bit soft, but this is nothing like, it's way softer like than Red Heart Super Saver. It's not s as soft as that Red Heart roving. I can't pull up the name, so, but I shouldn't talk too much about it. I will keep looking and see if it ever comes back in stock and then I will hurry up and do a vlog about it but um so far it's not and um I'm well I have an idea but I shouldn't 
Yeah, sometimes I don't get to do what I want to do. Should I share with you what I want to do? But I may not get to do it. <laughs> then I feel guilty. Um, in a perfect world, or if my body ever, ever lets me, I might do a crochet along and pick a pattern. And it probably will just have to be U.S. only, but pick a pattern and mail out to like two people and crochet along with you with the same yarn to make the same pattern. Wouldn't that be fun? I've done that in the past, and I really, 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 really want to do it again. So, so it would be some amigurami type of a thing. So, because the yarn is inexpensive enough that if I mailed it out, it still would work out. It wouldn't be crazy expensive to mail it. So, I'm so bummed. I don't know why they had it, and all of a sudden they don't have it anymore. So, I guess it's not like a company that... Because they have fabrics and other things. So, anywho. So, I got I got all that yarn. <laughs> I was so excited to do that vlog. And, yep, it just was gone like that. Um, oh, and this is... It worked up... Oh, no! Sorry. You can't help but get your hair on stuff. It worked out really well. It frogged easy, even though it had all those fibers... Let me see if I, I don't know why I, I tied it off so I can't pull it back. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. It frogged easy. It, it crocheted smoothly. It was nice to work with. I just don't like that you can pull the fibers off. I'm not a fan of that type of um, yarn. I guess for like a scarf or something for an ambergarami, it wouldn't really matter. But anywho. Next subject, because I'm 26 minutes in. Darn it. And I'm going to have to edit. So, anywho. Anywho. Let's move on. Let me figure this out. Okay. I'm going to share with you what I got at, uh, at, 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 at the Dollar Tree to try to put in this thing. My husband went in there with me. We totally forgot our... A measuring tape so this is how big this is the first thing we got that we thought was the right size is this okay let's see my thoughts I guess I think it might work if nothing else works it just doesn't have a flat bottom but I could create a flat bottom but I don't think it's high enough I would want it higher because the walls will collapse if it's not high high enough. Darn it, I really thought this was going to be the perfect one. Just kidding! So then the next one I got was this. Even though you were going to waste some space here, I thought it, it wouldn't matter. Okay. Hmm. Again, I could, I don't want to stretch it. I could put something on the bottom, and I do think that this would work. Like once I stuffed it, worst case scenario, I do kind of have to stretch it to get it around the mouth of this. And this is almost 11 inches wide. Yeah, I, I wanted nine and a half to 10 and a half. Okay. Now I'm worried about these other things. What I found at the Dollar Tree. It's a cross! I think I want to wrap it in something, um, maybe tool and crochet flowers to put all over it. Wouldn't that be pretty? Okay. The next thing I got... Well, I got stuff in this... Well, no, let me... Yeah, I'm going to have to. Can I show you what's in the basket first before I show you these baskets? <laughs> I found this really nice plasticky Hello Kitty thing. My daughter-in-law is going to love it. And then I kicked myself for not getting Lily one. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? I wasn't. Because she's five. She's going to want one. So now who do I give it to? The mom or the daughter? The mom or the daughter. <laughs> I really, really like these bags with the handle and I'm going to be selling some yarn and these are really good to transport it in. I really, really like that. So I got those and then I got a large one. And then 
they did not have at the Dollar Tree the like Caroline for the Love of Crochet her Dollar Tree haul thing she showed that they had the hair curlers with the, that bend and I really wanted to try that for the neck before I did find like a good pack on Amazon but I, I wanted to try it for $1.25 before I bought a, a container of different sizes and lengths but I did I know people have mentioned this so I thought maybe I'd give it a whirl. This would grip it, you know, so it wouldn't move. And then I thought maybe those might work. I really like that idea of this one. It's no different than a PVC pipe. So I really like that one. This one I'm worried like if I mess up and got to take it out, it's going to grip it too much. But anywho. So, and then I got some of these. Okay, so this next one will have to cut it. My husband believes that he could cut it to fix, to do it. I got two different like baskety things. I got this one, but I don't think this one will work very, very well because, well, maybe, you know what? I don't know. It is stiff. This one's really good, guys. It's really good. So he would cut it off like this. Mmm. It fits perfectly. Oh my gosh, you guys. This might be a winner. It's a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh my gosh. <gasps> yes! So this one fits inside this size. So I just recommend... Like if you do a smaller one than mine, if you decide to make one, when I do it next month, just take it with you because they had all different kinds of sizes. This next one, I could cut myself, I believe, and it's this. The only thing is these walls aren't as stable as that blue one I just showed you. I mean, he could feasibly cut it cut this put this back on there to, because this is stable i don't know if that would help keep it stable but um i think that rim would be t I, we can't use that never mind so you would cut this off because it and hopefully the walls i don't know until we cut it if these walls will be strong enough without this rim on here but this one feels sturdier than these. I don't think these walls will be strong enough once you take this top off. And this top is too wide for my thing. So I am thinking my winner will be this. And um, I might, like when he cuts it, melt the top to make it smooth so then it's not pointy. But I think, oh no, guys, it's broken. I didn't even pay attention. It's all busted up. I'm not happy about that. I do have my receipt, but how do you prove that you didn't break it yourself? I mean, it's only a dollar twenty-five, but then it's a dollar twenty-five. <laughs> Darn it! Now, do they? Anywho, I will move on. I'm bummed. That would have been perfect. Would have been. And then I got these little pump things I um one of my conditioner pumps who got broke and all I had was a gigantic one I'm hoping I can now get that out of that and get it into here because it anyway okay one last thing now that I'm 35 minutes in when I was crocheting in this because I had put that down for a little bit 
I realized that I had cards from my yarny friends in there because I wanted to show them. I think I must have been, I put them in there so when I did a vlog and then I never did, haven't done a vlog on this. So I am so sorry because some of them are older and I don't think I, I'm, did I show these? I don't, I, I can't remember you guys. I might be showing this twice. I don't know. I don't know. You'll have to let me know. Gwen, did I show? I don't know if I showed your Valentine's card, but I got it because this was in February and I got it. Thank you so much. Darn it. I don't know. Did I show these? Oh, my brain. I got this wonderful postcard from Barbara who lives on a sailboat. <laughs> Gwen, I love your card. Thank you. Barbara, I love your postcard. Thank you. If it's a second time, it's double the thanks, right? Then, I can't man my brain. Then from a different barb, I got this beautiful card. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> and double thank you if I said it already. <laughs> if I already showed it. Oh my gosh, it's such a cute idea. Isn't that cute? It looks like she wrote it and then put the heart. What a fabulous, fabulous idea. And then I get cards from my sweet friend Cheryl. And I don't know if I showed these, but she sends me a card almost every week, though I think it's been a couple weeks. I just got one today and I hadn't I haven't opened it up yet. Darn it, I should have read. What? Because, anywho, anywho, look at this card. She is such a blessing. You all are a blessing. Look at that. Oh, oh. isn't that cute? I gotta put that in my planner. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Love all those colors. <laughs> look at this bear. Look at the bear. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious i love her cards i love it i'm gonna make a book i'm gonna make a book and then i can just flip through them and read them like a book and <laughs> that is it that is it and tammy and Lori. The winners of the giveaway, I will be mailing it out in a couple days. I did not know we were going to go in there today. Um, I needed, me me I didn't know my husband needed meds, and one of mine actually, I thought it wouldn't be ready till Thursday, so I hadn't want to touch the giveaway thing, the, the giveaway bags, but I am now. I will get it ready, and I should be mailing it Thursday or Friday, and I will email you guys when I mail it out. So that's it. All this stuff. I just, I could get on here. And so I wanted to get on here. My goal is if I can, I'm going to do it. You know, yesterday was rough and hard, but I really, really needed to go through it. And I'm glad, I'm glad because, um, there's a lot of you that have chronic illnesses like me and I don't, I just don't. And I, and I'm usually, I try to shower or hide my hair, or hide things with hats and scarfs and all this stuff. And, um, it, you know, I wanted to, I just can't speak. <laughs> I just wanted to show more real, like, you know, it, it, it's hard, it's hard. And, um, but I love you guys so much and I enjoy, and I was bound and determined to share that experience of me going through every UFO unfinished object with you guys. And I'm glad I did because I love it. I love spending time with you. I love talking to you. I, I love your comments. I love it that I have friends. Um, I cherish your prayers. God has been so good and he has been blessing me. I got to tell you a quick, a couple things. Uh, we're already 40 minutes in. So God has really, really been, um, blessing me. Um, okay. Let me try to get my mind thinking. How, how can you have a thought and then lose it? Just like, boom. So I have been reading the Bible every day. I have not missed a day. 
And um, so I pray before, and I hadn't been praying very well prior to that. I pray every day, and I read the Bible every day. And um, a week and a half ago, I was so miserable. And um, when my fatigue gets really, really bad, all I can do is lay there. I can't do anything. I can't even keep my eyes open, even though I'm not sleeping. And so I just have to just lay there and, and get through it. And I'm laying there and then I start singing. I got a joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. He gave me joy in the midst of suffering. And I am forever grateful and I am appreciative and um, I have been having more better days. Um, I've been, you know, before I was just had almost all bad days and rarely a good day. And now I am having more good days than I did. And um, there's something else. There's lots of other things that have been happening. And for the life of me, my my brain it doesn't want to in remember them. Well, how can that be? Maybe I'm not meant to share them right now. Maybe I'll wait for a different time and I'll just share that one thing. <laughs> Okay, I better go. I better go. If I can't pull it out, my brain's trying to tell me something. But I wanted to share that one thing because it just meant so much to me that I could be singing in the midst of suffering and still have this joy just bursting out of me, even though um, things were rough. So I think one thing is good enough, right? To share with you. So I hope and pray that you guys are doing well. I hope that um, you're able to crochet and finding some joy in life, joy in crocheting, um, joy in the Lord if you're a Christian. And um, I, just, I just want to encourage you to press on, try really hard to read his word, even if it's only a couple lines to pray to have a relationship with him, to seek him daily, um, because it, it does help. So I better get going. I love you guys so much, and I enjoy my time with you, and um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.